Radio Shouty. Okay, so now I got to go back, though, man. I got to ask you about being in L.A. with Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. What was that like, being in there with the go to production and being able to pick his brain for three days? Well, you know, it's like, it, it, was, it was like, it wasn't as intense as it probably seemed because mm -hmm. it wasn't like, you see now, like when people fuck with you, they fuck with you. Like yeah. if you if you if you go, let's just say you go to Cali House. Yeah, you gonna probably eat. You gonna do everything. You gonna yeah. do everything. Cause Cali really rolled the carpet out. Yeah, it was more with just more work. It was more. Okay. You know, I get it when I can. Exactly. You know, it, it just went like that. I yeah. just got it when I can. Uh, you know, so we talked about you know the music. You know, and I was more of a fan because it was Dr. Dre. Exactly. And, but it was like it was like. I took the name from Cube, you know, from the movie Boys in the Hood, mm -hmm. and I wanted. And at the time, I thought it'd be dope as fuck if Dre had it. If Ooh. Dre had that group, you know what I'm saying? And that's, and, you know, you know, that's about all the world. But shout out to Dre and more to this conversation after that than that day. Then what would the afterwards uh, conversation? Oh now, oh now, he's just always told me. He said, "Man, shit, man, you did your thing." And, you know, he's just proud of me. Yeah, because I come from the, those streets where he you know, came up from in L.A. too. I came to Compton Watts. You know what I'm saying? Long Beach, all them places right there, man. Shit, I play in the streets of them streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he's just proud of me. Can you talk about your West Coast ties Absolutely. with TDD, uh, yeah. TDE and stuff? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know that that's my that's that's my relic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, his dad, my dad, family. And um, you know we grew up together in Nickerson, and you know, you know like when J Rock came out, you know, you know top state all the way down. Yeah. How the hell you gonna find yourself in the hardest projects in Atlanta and the hardest projects <laughs> no, in the West Coast? Explain no, that to me, no, bro. Goddamn. No, I don't. No, I try that every fucking. I'm like, damn. When I leave. East Lake, I go over here. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, and they were black and white then. They, you know, you, you know, now they cool off now. Exactly. I mean, you know, they still kill machine up there. <laughs> but boy, back in them days, boy, you couldn't. I mean, that gang shit was for real. Yeah. Like that's why I don't. I don't play with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, my dad, his bloodline, that's what they do, that's what they came up doing. I never came down here. I was throwing gang signs in the 80s, but I didn't, I wasn't, niggas down here didn't know nothing about it. Exactly. But, um, nah, man, that shit real deal or whatever now. So, so you now you got boys in the hood and you pulled Jeezy in that thing, man. Yeah. What was it like when you saw his motion and you said, hey, man, I need to get you in this damn group? Nah, uh, 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 what happened with Jeezy Talk was, to me. Meech called me and asked me about, okay, at this time I was managing Jazz's Faith. Yeah. So Meech wanted, okay, Meech called me and said he had an artist that he wanted Jazz to do a song for. Uh -huh. I said, okay, cool. I said, man, I said, I said come over to the studio. I said, I said, yeah, bring him to the studio. And, um, and I'm working over here now with Trick Daddy. Cause me and Trick Daddy started building a group, boys, this is the first, who me and Trick. Yeah, so, <laughs> and, see, see, see. See, when I first did Boys in the Hood, it wasn't the group I ended up with. Yeah. When I first started, I wanted a super group. Like, I wanted T.I. You know, Ooh. this is when T.I. was in jail. <laughs> you know, you know. see, I would come in, I would yeah. say if he wanted to. <laughs> yeah. You know, T.I., Sean Paul for the Young Bloods, Trick Daddy, and Joe DeBree. That was the group at first. Nigga! Yeah. So, so we were making the shit, we were making the shit. And, um, and I said, you know what? Anybody can make a super group. Mm -hmm. This thing, this probably won't have me around long. I said... Once again, I'm on the sideline. Uh -huh. I'm seeing everything that makes people, and like right now, certain moves I've done, and thanks to a lot of that, the moves, the moves that I and and the seeds I planted got me relevant to this day. That's right. I, can, I mean, I got five, I got four labor deals right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, who did a lot? So it's like <laughs> I'm still doing the same shit I did when I first came in the game. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, um, like I saw and I moved because once again I was on the sideline. I saw what. Get people forgot about. I uh -huh. saw that they, they, they make you longevity, and uh, I saw JD one day, mm -hmm. and JD say, he say, he said, well, make sure that whenever you sign or who you sign with, that make sure they better see your moves. Because if you if you deal with you know deal with people out of town, they can't see them the street moves you're doing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that really, I said, damn, you right. Yeah. So that's why I was like when I first started signing. Uh, did, did with Puff, I was like, he won't be able to see the shit because I want to go fuck with JD at first. Yeah, but I was like, but it it seemed like I really need to be JD competition. Mm. I didn't really want to partner up with nobody because I knew I knew the mentality I had. Yeah, the mentality I have is 
Destroy. I've always yeah, exactly. don't play with nobody. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't play with nobody. So, so I knew if I had the same, the same people to push me, um, uh, budget me the same way all these JD and, and Dallas and organized noise said. If I had somebody behind me, exactly, it's over. You know. So, um, so one of the, you know, one of my strengths is, is, is understanding. The position I'm in. Exactly. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people, they be in position, but they don't know how to work they, they muscle. They don't know how to work their tools they got. Talk about working your move, though, man, because, I mean, like you say, yeah. that's just the knowledge of playing chess and knowing how to play the game. A lot of folks, yeah. like you say, don't know. See, you know, I was going through the buildings. Once again, I'm always go back to on the sideline from 90 folks. I finally got my own situation. And and I saw a lot of things and I knew in the buildings. I mean, I'm looking at a 60-year-old white man telling me my culture. <laughs> well, how you going to come and tell me some street shit and you catch a goddamn train in New York going home and back? For him, people don't know who you really are. Yeah. So I just kept seeing, oh, they don't want to get their hands dirty. Yeah. So they're going to always need me. Thanks. They always need me to be able to go, go, in, the, go in the projects, yeah. go in the streets, <laughs> and get all the hot shit out. My yeah. job would never be on. Because they, they ain't going to do it. Yeah. That's why they use the internet right now. That's why they use analytics. Uh-huh. They're not going to come and get the real talent. Facts. They ain't going to do it. Working with Puff Daddy, man, what kind of game did you pick up from him? Oh, man. Hustle, man. The game. The marketing game. Dude. But, you know, Puff, Puff told me this, too. Puff said, listen, dog, you should laugh at me when I used to dance on the videos and, and be on the records, but I'm here. He said, man, don't let your artists, you know what I'm saying, outlive you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. So that's when I started thinking, I'm like, damn. You're right. I'm like, JD still here. He talking yeah. on the record. Yeah. She's Swiss Beats. He talking on the record. Yeah. So I just, just thought, I said, damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she was a big blocker. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, hey, the East Side Chevron shit. <laughs>